always a rainbow within reach on animal of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A carrot! That's right! Where did you get orange paint? I mixed it myself. Want to see how? Yes, please. Okay. First, start with some yellow. <laughs> then get a little bit of red and mix it in. Look, it's turning orange. Yeah, you mixed yellow and red and made orange. I'm going to call my color sunshine orange. Nice. Mr. Goose, Mr. Goose. I made orange. Can we make that the color of the day? Hedgehog, that's a great idea. Presenting... Orange!
Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! Pig, Fox, I'm going to show you a new way of painting. Ooh. Um, I don't see any paint brushes. That's right, Fox. We're not going to paint with paint brushes. Huh? Huh? We're going to paint with sponges. Ready to see what happens? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Do you want to start with blue paper or red paper? Mm, blue, please. And I'll take red, please. Great. Now, pick up a sponge. Dip it in the yellow paint. <laughs> and start painting. Oh, 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 look. My paper is turning orange. Because red and yellow make orange. My paper is turning green. That's right. <gasps> Look how smooth it looks. I'm tapping my sponge. <laughs> it looks rough, like, like rocks. Smooth and rough are textures. Say it after me. Textures. Textures. I'm done. Me too. Let's hang up your paintings and look at them. What's something that's the same about your paintings? We both painted with sponges. That's right. What else? We both painted with yellow. Yes, and what's something different about your paintings? Mine came out green, and Pig's is orange. And my painting is rough, but Fox's is smooth. That's right. Now, what do we do when we're done painting? We go play. Uh-huh. But first... <gasps> we clean up. Oh, right. That's right. Let's clean up together. Okay. okay. It's story time. Yay! Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Teju Shadow. Let's find out what happens. Let's begin. Teju Shadow, written by Sope Martins, illustrated by Ndumiso Neoni, designed by Aisha O'Reilly. What's that? Teju hides. It won't find me here. He runs. Why are you following me? Leave me alone! Go away, go away, go away! Teju, what are you doing? It won't go away. Your shadow? It follows me everywhere. It's like a super secret spy. Well, there's one way to make a shadow disappear. Mama! Later that night in Teju's bedroom, the light goes off, and then on, and off, and on. Teju can't sleep. What's wrong, Teju? It only goes away in the dark, but I'm scared of the dark. Mama gives Teju a big hug. Do you want to see something amazing? Mama and Teju make shadow puppets until he falls asleep. After school, Teju waits for Mama. I'm bored. Teju stands up. He jumps. He dances. His shadow does the same. Cool! When he goes to bed that night, 
Teju leaves his nightlight on. Good night, Shadow. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. Let's sing a counting song about potatoes. Potatoes? Yes, potatoes. It goes like this. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Are you ready to count potatoes with me? Yeah! yeah let's go! Here we go! One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Again! One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Ooh, that was fun! That was wonderful! Thank you for singing with me! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Goodbye! Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Snowflakes. S. S. Snowflakes. Sun. S. S. Sun. Sock. S. S. Sock. P U <laughs> Snake S S Snake Strawberries S S Strawberries What letter do all these words start with? That's right, the letter S. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely. Let's practice making the letter S. Who can think of a fun way to do it? I have an idea. Let's dig letters in the sand with a shovel. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Monkey, you go first. All right! <laughs> S! Great! I'll try next. <laughs> Terrific tracing! Now, let's trace the lowercase letter. I'll try it! <laughs> S! Nice job! I'll trace the next one. <laughs> S. You did it! Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? S. Exactly. Uppercase S. And what's this letter? S. That's right. Lowercase s. Nice job. Nice work, everybody! Thank you, Mr. Goose! S! Monkey! Monkey! Hmm, where is he? <laughs> oh, what was that? 
<laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Look! <laughs> Where do you think Monkey is? It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. Has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them.